The commanders had lost trust in their king they'd rushed to protect. Later, when an armed rebellion broke out and the palace was indeed under siege, the king ordered signal fires to be lit from towers all along the wall. But this time, none of his troops came to his rescue. The rebels stormed the palace, and King Yo and Queen Baosi were taken and killed. Every day, thousands of people see the wall for the first time. It draws people from every corner of the earth who can say they set foot on the Great Wall. After 2,000 years, it still never fails to impress. This magnificent creation is the product of the collective effort of the Chinese people. It's a symbol of perseverance, endurance, and ultimately triumph. It united the country in its construction, and it continues to unite the people today as a reminder of their ancestors' achievements. One eye is 10 feet wide. One foot outstretches a human. One coil of hair is bigger than a dining table. You could park a bus on his shoulder. He is the largest statue of Buddha in the world. And one of the seven wonders of China. More than a thousand years old, it was carved out of the sheer cliff by devoted followers, a task that took more than 90 years. The giant Buddha of Lishan draws more than two million people a year to stare up at its magnificence and worship at its colossal feet. That's what we're waiting in line for, to catch the sights. It's like it's <laughs> the statue is a work of epic proportions. From head to toe, the Buddha is the length of a Boeing 747. A giraffe could fit in his ear. Fifty soldiers could stand in rank across his lap. The Statue of Liberty only reaches up to his shoulder. And even Yao Ming, the Chinese basketball star, is shorter than his finger. The statue has stood on the riverbanks, watching over the turbulent waters for over a millennium. Life in Lishan has always revolved around the river and its traffic, carrying people and goods to and from the ancient market town. Even today, there are strong ties with the waterways. But there's been one change. The river is safer than it used to be. The waters were once notoriously treacherous, capsizing many boats and taking lives. Some people even believed that the cause of such tragedies was an evil river monster that lurked beneath the surface. According to legend, the waters only became calm when the Buddha was built. The man responsible for the creation of this statue was a monk named Master Haitong. Master Haitong was a compassionate and devoted Buddhist monk of the early 8th century, an abbot of the Ling Yun Monastery of Lishan. He was greatly troubled by the constant loss of lives his community suffered as a result of the dangerous river. He wanted to find a permanent, surefire way to protect his people from the treacherous currents and came up with a wildly ambitious plan. He decided to build a giant Buddha statue that would overlook and bless the most deadly parts of the waters. The visitors who come here and learn about his story are all deeply humbled and touched by his commitment to the project. It's said that the rocks dislodged from the cliff during the building of the statue plunged into the river and tamed the currents. Leading down a sacred cliff is a perilous ancient stairway carved into the rocks. Known as the Nine Turn Plank Road, 
the stairs hug the steep rock face and take people on a winding route to the foot of the most impressive sight of all. And it's here that visitors get to do the one thing they come for, hugging the Buddha's leg. There's an old Chinese saying, to hug the Buddha's leg at the last minute, which describes people who only wait until a crisis looms to show their devotion. <laughs> Judging from the flocks of people hugging the statue's leg, it seems like there's a whole host of last-minute prayers this Buddha has to answer. The giant Buddha of Lishan stands tall as a wonder of China. Each day, the statue welcomes crowds of worshippers drawn to its compassionate gaze, as well as curious tourists eager to be awestruck by this colossus. Again, I think this is a great piece of art and something that should be looked at with awe because for them to achieve such heights with the, the, even the toes and the intricacy and the grandness of this is really inspiring and really, it makes you wonder and appreciate how much we have today and everything that the technology and how far it has gone. It just makes you stand back and, and look in, in awe. Due to the statue's incredible size, maintaining its appearance is a full-time job involving coordination and the dedication of many people, not to mention many safety ropes. However, only six years since a multi-million dollar facelift took place, the statue is again showing serious signs of damage. Although nearby factories have been shut down, smokestacks from further away continue to pollute the air. Now. Experts believe that the Buddha's nose and ears may eventually fall off from the corrosive and endless onslaught of acid rain. Experts are battling against time and the elements to maintain the magnificence of the statue, desperate to ensure what we see today and in the future does justice to the Creator's vision. To the Chinese, Mount Wudang is the first mountain under heaven. Its slopes are adorned with spectacular palaces, temples, pavilions, and bridges. Each building is brilliantly designed to harmonize with the landscape. This sacred mountain is a place of tranquility, but it's also the birthplace of Wudang Kung Fu, a martial art that's alive and kicking after 700 years. In Chinese terms, Wudang is a tiny town of 25,000 people. A walk in its streets sums up China today, a fascinating mix of tradition and a headlong dash to modernity. But the town has a unique claim to fame. It lies at the foot of one of China's most revered and sacred sites, Mount Wudang. This vast sacred site is home to eight palaces, 72 cave temples, 39 bridges, 36 nunneries, 12 pavilions, and two temples. During the Ming Dynasty, Mount Wudang was known as a grand spectacle of all ages. It is one of the finest examples of ancient religious architecture anywhere. At Heavenly Pillar Peak, the highest point of the mountain, a striking temple sits atop the cloud-covered